In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to integrate our PayPal recurring payments plugin into your Bubble application. This plugin basically allows you to integrate PayPal subscriptions so you can receive recurring subscriptions from your PayPal um, or from your, from your customers using PayPal as a payment method. And um, we try to keep this plugin as simple as possible, meaning you can create subscription plans via your dashboard and then easily subscribe the users to these plans using this plugin. So a few things you will need. First of all, you will need a PayPal developer account and you can um, create one by just visiting developer.paypal.com um, and you will be shown the developer account here, the developer dashboard. And what you wanna do is you wanna create a new app, all right? And you can either create an app in your live version or in your sandbox version. It's always important to differentiate by, in PayPal between live and sandbox. Live obviously is for real life applications, where a sandbox is just for testing purposes. So what I did now is I created um, a sandbox app and I copied the client ID of the sandbox app. And the first thing you want to do is you want to paste this client ID here under this plugin PayPal recurring payments here under we have client ID for the live version and the client ID for the development version and what I did I pasted the client ID here so this is the first step that you have to do so again to summarize visit developer.paypal.com create a new app um, with a sandbox setting to start off with um, and copy the client ID all right so next thing you want to do is you want to head over to your actual PayPal account so this is right now a test store we're in the sandbox version um, and let me actually quickly change the language so that makes more sense. Um, okay, English. All right. So what we want to do? We want to go home. Go to, go to home. Let's wait a second. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't change the language, but it doesn't matter. Um, we're on home here right now, so that's the typical pa PayPal dashboard. What you want to go is you want to go to the third menu option here, and in English it will say subscriptions here. All the right accept payments, subscriptions, click on that, right? And now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and you wanna create a new subscription. So you're gonna to go to subscription plans and you wanna create a new plan, okay? And now really simple, you wanna first of all choose a product, okay? And either you can create a new subscription product, let's do that, so let's call this product name test, okay? Um, this might be digital good, and you can add all of these things. Let's click next. So we have a new product called test. And for this product, um, let's call that, let's say that's a premium subscription or whatever. It's called premium, basic, whatever. And for this, we want to create a plan. And the plan, you can either choose fixed pricing, quantity pricing, volume pricing, and so on. We're going to go with fixed pricing, clicks next. The plan name will be <clears throat> monthly billing, for example. You could add a description if you want. Click next. You can choose the currency, you can say, okay, should there be a one-time setup fee, a trial period, how many building cycles, what is the price? So obviously let's then just use 29 euros um, every month. Should there be tax there? When should the um, subscription be paused? After how many missed cycles? Let's click next and we're done. So um, let's turn the plan on and if we go back here now to let's click do this later and now under our subscription plans you can see we have two plans where first of all this one that, that we created before um, before this tutorial and we have this new one called monthly billing and you can already see this p slash and then id which is the subscription plan id and this is important what you want to do is you want to copy that so let's go ahead and just copy that all right so let's go now actually back to bubble and let me show you how to set up the plugin itself. So we have a page here in Bubble. Um, as you saw already, I installed the plugin. I added my client ID. And what you want to do is you want to then search for PayPal, all right? Uh, drag that onto your page. And you can see the only thing that it requires from you is the plan ID. Really, really simple. And the plan ID was the ID that we just copied from our PayPal dashboard. Let's paste that here. So P slash. And that's all you have to do, okay? Let's maybe also apply maximum width, give it a bit more space. And now let's quickly just preview that and see if it works already. So as you saw, really, really simple. Um, not much to set up, but that's the way it should be. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, this looks quite nice already. So we have the PayPal button and the credit card and debit card button. And now users can go ahead and simply check out, subscribe to a plan. So what would happen now is we could subscribe to our monthly plan, 29 euros a month. Um, and this 
active plan would be shown under subscriptions here. So right now we have zero subscriptions and there would be one active subscription if I subscribe to this. I can't subscribe to this now because um, it would require a t testing buying sandbox account from PayPal and we're locked in right now as the seller so that won't work anyway. But you can see it looks really nice. Um, it's um, also responsive and we apply the maximum width so it doesn't stretch out completely. Um, and yeah, works perfectly fine. So what will happen now if a user subscribes? So let's, for example, say, okay, a user subscribes. We'll obviously want to track that in your application. So what you could do is you have access to an event. And this event is under elements and it's called a PayPal um, payment has been successful. So when a PayPal payment has been successful, this is triggered. And then you can do all kinds of things. So what you could do, for example, you could say, all right, make changes to thing. Maybe the current user, all right. Um, I don't know if we have a relevant field here. Let's just call that request. Doesn't make sense, but what you can then say, okay, the request should be this PayPal, and you can see you have access to the subscription ID. The subscription ID is really important. Um, you will need that in the future uh, or in future use cases when you want to cancel subscription. So definitely save that. Um, this doesn't work right now because request should be an integer. We can change that. Let's just create here a new field called ID, okay, of type text. Um, and uh, yeah, so this PayPal subscription ID. Same thing, you can also trigger an event when a PayPal payment has encountered an error or has been canceled proactively. You can show an alert um, or do all kinds of stuff, show a pop-up. First of all, we have these three events. I showed you that. We have the element and we have a few actions, all right? We have in total two actions to be precise. We have the cancel plan action and get subscription details action. And for both actions, we always have the sandbox and live version, okay? So cancel plan, quite obvious what it does. It cancels active subscription and gets subscription details. Gets, gets you the, the accurate details of an active subscription or a non-active subscription as, as well. Um, and for both calls, which you can trigger, for example, by let's say I have a button here, start a workflow. And under plugins, you have PayPal, get subscription details, sandbox. And what is always required is the subscription ID for all um, all uh, calls. And that's the thing we save here that we get when a user subscribes. And what is also required for all calls, so for the get subscription call and the um, cancel plan call is an authorization, okay? And the authorization always has the same structure. You write bearer and then you add your access token. And now the question is, where do you get your access token from? Well, we have an action for that as well. So under plugins, we have here under payment, we have access token live and access token sandbox. So what you wanna do is you wanna choose one of those. So let's choose access token sandbox, all right? So this will create or generate an access token for the sandbox version. And what you will need is you will need a client ID. This is the same thing we inputted before here in the plugins tab, and you will need your secret ID. The secret ID you will find um, in your PayPal developer dashboard as well. So you will need these two to authenticate. This will create a, send, a token, and you can then use this access token in subsequent call, in the subsequent calls. So for example, subscri subscription ID would be something, and the authorization would be bearer, a space, and then result of step one, token, if there is no error, okay? Important also to note, each access token has an expiration, which is an integer um, in seconds and shows you how many seconds will go by until the access token can't be used anymore. So what you could do, you could either do create an access token for each call before, or what we do often is we um, let this run in the background using backend workflows and create an access token any, any few hours um, and that you only have one access token at a single time. Both works, um, that's up to you. So yeah, um, obviously you can then go ahead, you can get subscription details here. Um, and then again, the details from that will be shown in subsequent steps. So you can make again, make changes to, or let's say send an email, okay. And then you have access, you can see, okay, result of step ones. So the ID, the plan ID, the start time, uh, subscriber, full name, country code, and all this information you have access to. Okay, and you could add that in the database, send an email or whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, same thing applies for the cancel plan. So let's test that. Again, you just the ID, which you want to cancel. The reason, you have to provide that. The reason for canceling, PayPal requires that. And again, the authorization. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. Um, as you saw, really simple to set up. 
um, super easy way to um, receive recurring payments using PayPal. Um, and yeah, I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.